and you play a little freer. Well, hockey is a game of inches at the pass. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this one. He's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. Lots of time left in this period. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. to a good start here in the early going. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. A player should never... ...nothing zone ability. And it's a bold play, but if you talk... Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Gets it over to Boldy. Moves it to Lindgren. They've got numbers here. With the back hit. Scores! And they strike Pater once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And they win that draw at center. Atkinson's got the puck. The Wild have it in their own zone. Takes the pass. Here's a centering pass! Oh, they couldn't complete that! Change up, change up! Gets the puck over to Tippett. Takes the feed. To the front! Here's a shot! And he comes up with the stop there! Well, he knew where this puck was going. He's got a book on the shooter, James, and he gets square in front. Great position and makes the save. And they send it right back to him. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Lawton's looking to make something happen here in the corner. And it's a quick pass to Drysdale. Shot right in front. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Crawford. Taken along the wall by Shaw. Here's a chance. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Knocks the puck loose. And he takes a shot. That goes wide. Slides it over with pace to York. He carries the puck up along the wing. Levels him with the hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. the midway mark of the frame. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. On the attack along the boards. Denies him! Rene's been 
been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point blank save. Quick feed to Brodine. Receives the pass. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Oh, what a save in front. Unleashes a cannon. Renee's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Cheryl Pryor to puck drop. The rookie gets the solo lap. Yeah, this used to be a joke, I thought, but now this feels like a rite of passage. It really is a rite of passage. I mean, anytime you're a rookie and you get to have that first lap and you get on the ice, all of the vets in behind you, sometimes they'll just stop, let you jump on the ice by yourself, and you can kind of take a trip down memory lane when you're a young child dreaming of being in that situation. It's a ton of fun, a lot of nerves and energy, I'm sure, but he's ecstatic to be there. Quick pass to Kaprizov. Scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, this is a fantastic shot that beats the goaltender clean and hits the post. Doesn't come out, redirects right back in. That's a fortuitous bounce for the shooter. Minnesota's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. The Flyers get a hold of the draw. Puts it away in his own end. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Offside the call will get a reset. Minnesota's up here in the first and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. Made the stop on the play. And lowers the boom with a big-time hit. Well, this is a message-sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Moves it to Spurgeon. The Flyers look to start the transition game. Moves it quickly over to Shaw. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Gets the puck in deep. Picked up along the boards by Brown. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? This shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Minnesota's going to want to take this lead into the first intermission. They have really looked sharp tonight. Couturier's won a big draw on their own end. Just a simple pass save made by Rene. Quick feed to Couturier. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Couturier's the leader of this team. And who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum. Everyone jumps on board. This game is not out of reach yet. Tease it up from the blue line. Stop that one. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Turn that chance aside. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. From the point, they take control of it. He got all that hit. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Middleton's lugging the puck. Looks to make a play over to Felino. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Scores! Well, I guess they weren't safe by the hell there. Uh, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now, heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. 
This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Minnesota's looked great thus far, leading here late the first period. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Quick pass to Hartman. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more. Second period set to get underway. Here we go, lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Philadelphia's got to change everything about that abysmal first period, James. No one will be happy with it. In particular, their feet. What I mean by that is they just didn't have their skating legs and they were first to the puck, which means they were on their heels all over the ice. Someone, something has to change in the second period to create some kind of momentum. Connecty's going off for interference. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Here's a short pass to Lawton. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Philadelphia's got the puck shorthanded. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Slick feed. Hartman's having himself a game, James. I mean, he's already got a goal. Puck's on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Crawford's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battle, when you have will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Philadelphia's penalty killers get a hold of it. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. There's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. His reflexes on display tonight. Grenet's had a difficult time tonight, James. He's struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone. A play. Plays it in on the breakaway. Scores! And the road team is having themselves a party in this court tonight. And I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans are leaving. They paid money for this ticket. And if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there. But you can't. There's more games. so far, James. Makes his presence known on the ice. The Wilds have taken possession of their own end. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Ristolainen. Moves it to Faraby. Sends it in front. Off the stick and they can't complete the play. Zuccarello's got it along the wing. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Ristolainen. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Faraby. He got all of that one. Quick pass over to Middleton. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. And that one stopped. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. Thunderous collision! 
collision, and look at the end result. He's on his own bench. Yeah, and this is tough to handle, whether it's on your opponent's bench. Trying to field. gain a step. All alone. Can't get that one to go. Well, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on the breakaway, and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Dumps it in. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Scooped up along the wall by Brown. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Philadelphia's got the puck. Moves it over to Tippett. The Wilds have the puck in the open ice. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. Handles the puck. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And he was ready for that one. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Off the face off, they take the puck. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. And now he moves it quickly to Drysdale. And that caroms off a body in the land. Oh, it gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Minnesota's been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. The Flyers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Puck grab by Lindgren. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Passes out front. What a chance, but they can't connect. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. More than half the frame has been played here. A quick look at the scoreboard. It's too much to not enough. Five zip. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. Takes the pass from the left wing. Uses the force on that hit. There's a firm collision. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Ristolainen's gained the line and on the attack. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, that Rister had some heat, James, but he was able to get in front of it and turn it aside. From the blue line, they take control of it. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Too much congestion in front. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. I always hated to play in these games. It just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game.
champions recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The frozen disc gets dropped, and we are back underway here. And now he tries to get it across to Champion. Poked away at center by Brown. Wax it into the offensive zone. Oh, absolutely rocked him in the corner. Quick feed to Johansson. Now a quick pass to Kaprizov. And that goes off somewhat in front and doesn't reach the net. From on the boards, they battle for the puck. He's got it behind the cage. Minnesota's in now. And that goes off a player in front. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. He says, let's get physical on that play. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Feeds the puck to Zuccarello. He's got a step. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Oh, what a glove save by Hart. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Couturier sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Big time hit, oh, he stepped up there. Well, finally someone does something, James. It's like they've been standing around watching the game in quicksand. Finally someone does something, he sends a clear message. Hey, I'm coming at you. Moves the puck over to Spurgeon. Oh, and he lays a thunderous hit there. Good hit to knock the puck loose. The Flyers have it now. And that's picked up by Kaprizov. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Quick pass to Atkinson. Oh, yeah! Score! maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build out that last shift. You gotta work hard in the offseason if you wanna have this kind of power, James, because he's getting jostled, trying to get bumped off the puck. He's able to hold on to it with that low center of gravity and core strength. And then his eyes are on the prize, not the goaltender, but the player left wide open because everyone is so focused on him. He's gonna get an assist for his efforts. Minnesota's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Great cross-ice pass. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. Moves it to Johansson. Here's a chance. Big time stop. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. When your opponent doesn't have the puck, you can't interfere with their forward progress too much. You can cheat a little bit, James, but that's over the top. Sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Rossi's running off the face off. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Minnesota's won the draw here to open this period, and they'll shave a few seconds off this penalty. Oh, look! Oh, what a collision into the boards. Let's it go. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And he slides it quickly to Konechny. And he slides it quickly to Tippett. From the opposite point, centering feed. Dishes it off again here, and that chance is blocked. Gets it out of his own end. Here's a short pass to Eric Sinek. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Konechny's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Tippett. Blocked by Crawford. 
No question the goaltenders know who the shooters are in the league and what style of shot they take, and he's able to get a perfect read on the shooter here. That quick release shot, he knew that Mister was coming all day long. Hart's going to hang on for a whistle. Gautreaux's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Philadelphia's got the puck. They've got an on man rush across the line. Passes it over. Shuts the door. Whoa, what a save. Frost's at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And a nice save there as play continues. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. That's gloved by Crawford. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Battle clear. along the boards. Felino's penalty is almost expired. Quick feed to York. Puts it on net. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Crawford. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. That's a great power play, James. The only thing they didn't do was score, and if they continue that, they'll certainly have success. Moves the puck. Looks to pass it to Polino. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Zuccarello. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Good check. Frees the puck up. The Wild have it in their own zone. Carrier's got it in the defensive end. Slides the puck over. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Frost. Philadelphia's in transition. Puck dumped in. The Wild have position along the boards. Moves it to Eric Sinek. Johansson's going to play it against the half wall. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Let's it go. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Stopped by Hart. My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. Minnesota's gained the line and into the zone. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. And he takes the feed. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Oh, and he completely lost the shot. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. The Flyers have it against the wall. He got all of that one. They put the puck into the offensive end. Sends the pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Spurgeon. Harvin's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the Hattie. And he loses control of the puck. Ross is taking it from his own end. And it's a quick pass to Hartman. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Hart. Here's a short pass to Spurgeon. And that doesn't reach the net. 
Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Grabbed along the board by Cates. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Johansson. Denies him in close. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Minnesota showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Quick feed to Champion. Critical face-offs are James, the leading man at the dot. Strength down the middle, is able to win it, gets a puck back, and gets the goal. Well, I can only imagine that those jitters have to be all gone now. First game, and he's potting his first goal here, Pounder. Uh, I mean, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? And it's a good way to get started, not just settling the nerves in, but how about your confidence? You're a young player, you're trying to make an impression, and you score your first goal, and you can see how happy everyone is from on the bench. Here's a shot! Here's the shot, and he stakes that one with the gloves. Minnesota's played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. Champions won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, and a great save by Crawford. Inside his own end, moves the puck. With possession along the wall. And that's a great heads up play by Sanheim. Quick pass to Konechny. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. The Flyers take over on possession. Moves it to Farabee. Quick shot, denies him in front. Crawford's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Philadelphia's won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Champion. Oh, a tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Picked up along the wall by Couturier. Scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. Well, these below-the-goal line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focused, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. Couturier's won the draw at center. Puck picked up by Tippett. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. I think that's a charging call all day long. He even left his feet. You can't argue that one. Philadelphia's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Pass the puck away. And that goes off course off a of body. Frost has been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. Couturier is ready for the draw on this man advantage. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. But this time of the game, you know the coach is in your ear. You gotta find a way to make a good puck decision. Get it in deep. Don't give up anything offensively. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Oh, 
Hartman's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they win the offensive zone face off, and here we go. Philadelphia's gained possession. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. From the top of the offensive zone here. Centering feed! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Here's a shot. Score! And prior to puck drop down here, we talked about this being a big one. That's 200. He was in at 199, and we knew it. It was in our notes, James, and he hits number 200. Quiet and consistent throughout his career. Congratulations. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. Philadelphia's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Takes the shot. Oh, he makes the save. That was a rocket. Here he is, wrestling on that. Big save by the goaltender once again. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Rossi. That's not a midair using great hand eye coordination. Atkinson's moving the puck through his own zone. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Trotter. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Taken along the wall by Spurgeon. Takes control of the puck. Quick feed to Lindgren. One. Minnesota's a winner tonight, but it certainly wasn't pretty how they finished up squandering a significant lead. Yeah, I didn't anticipate that this would happen. I mean, they were flying the first two periods, and it looked like their legs are in just quicksand in that third. Now, they're going to have to find a way to come back after that third period. You know the coaching staff is not going to be happy about their habits. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski wishing you a safe and healthy night. And we'll see you down the road again soon.